In this video, I will show you how to add sh shingle objects into shape library uh, using uh, add shingle tool. On this picture, we can see all shingle types we can add into shape library. All of them, we can add them uh, same way. Uh, only difference is with a connect uh, shingle types. There, there are some uh, additional options for these shingle types. So before we start using add shingle tool, we need to have some shingle object. The uh, important is that each shingle object must be single piece, single volume object, no holes, no corruption. Very important. Especially for regular shingles because uh, uh, shingle tool is doing a lot of booleans with uh, with uh, these shingles and uh, little corruption can cause uh, overall wrong res result. And now I will uh, show you how easily you can add these three shingle objects into shape library. First we need to select the shingle. I'll start with a regular shingle. Uh, regular shingle, uh, shingle and uh, uh, left and right version of uh, regular shingle should be already rotated uh, with a little angle before we place it into li library. So now I will activate Add Shingle tool. Uh, I will create a new test directory. So test directory, and um, we have to uh, set proper shingle type here in this uh, list box. So it will be a regular shingle and uh, by clicking into top viewport uh, the object in the scene is uh, activated. Here we can set uh, the base or change it. By default it is placed on the bottom of the shingle. If we need to change it we can click into set base and change to other location. I will leave it back on the bottom. Okay, and now just click into add shingle, add shingle to lip uh, button, and we can name this shingle. It will be shin shingle test, and object is now in 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 the library. Now we need just quit uh, this tool by pressing uh, Escape key on the keyboard or or right mouse button two times. And same order is also for other shingles, so also for this select on this slope shingle, activate add shingle tool, set shingle type to slope, click into top viewport, set base if you need, and add shingle to lip. Now slope test name, OK, and Slope shingle is in the library. Very easy. And again, double S key. Last shingle type is a connect. Uh, but before I add this shingle into library, uh, I will show you how it is better to place it uh, first on the roof and then add into library. Uh, so I will first create some uh, simple roof and I will place this shingle on the roof where it should be placed in final. So here, height here and position here. So here, three edges on the roof uh, comes from the roof uh, from this uh, shingle position. Position. So now we can know how to how this uh, shingle should be placed on the roof. We can add the, add it the into shape library. So select uh, shingle, activate add shingle tool, and now. Click into top viewport, 
we can set base here in the front viewport so I will use a snapping hub of edge snapping and I will set new base for this shingle it will be on the top of the roof this is a uh, base for this shingle here and uh, when we set a shingle type to connect we have here uh, some additional options uh, first is a set pivot so with set pivot button we can set pivot for this shingle which means it will be this connection point between uh, roof edges so I will go a little bit closer and with vertex snapping I will pick this pivot here okay now we have select pivot and when a pivot is uh, activated then we have some additional directional buttons and with these buttons we will define these roof edges so shingle tool then will know how to place this shingle on the roof with help of these additional options so this direct uh, direction I will use it here and two slope directions first we'll go here with help of edge snap it doesn't matter uh, where we place this di direction it takes only direction it doesn't matter how long it is so doesn't care and second we'll go here okay now when I go here I'm in wireframe mode we can see this red pivot and red uh, directional uh, directional vectors so uh, as it is uh, we can now add this shingle into shape library add shingle name it connect test and done we can see in thumbnail that then we have a nice green rectangle means uh, the base for the shingle and uh, Red red uh, lines are directional directional vectors which um, which defines how how shingle should be placed on the roof. And finally, we will test our newly created uh, three shingles in the library. So just select this testing roof, apply shingles tool on it, and clicking to top viewport, activate current Roman preset. Um, now we need to delete all shingles from the current preset. So now when a shingle list is empty, the, the current preset is uh, ready for use. So now I will go to our new test uh, folder with our three uh, shingles in it. So first I will add regular shingle, then slope shingle, and connect shingle so as you can see all three shingles which uh, we, we we moved into shape library we can now easily use with shingle tool